That's funny. It's like three trucks here is fine. These last two need to go somewhere else, though. Like to a different base or something. And we can put motorcycles and shit inside that in the last garage bin. Ripley's gonna lose her freaking mind when she sees all this and what the fuck, I left you alone for a few hours in this lab. And... Yeah. Did she did she log in when we did this or like she hasn't seen this yet? She hasn't seen this at all. She was gonna get on earlier, but that the shit with her brother and I don't even think her brother ever even messaged her back. So I don't think she ever even got on at all. I have no idea what the hell happened. And she hasn't really talked talk to me about it. This little storage chest that you got right here? Yeah. I put a tank, a tank of gas in there to keep it full uh, for the oh, no. generator. Okay, I mean, hey, at least it works. You know, it keeps it. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Any second now, it's happening. Make sure you got ammo, everything you need. I think I'm good on ammo, especially 9mm. I got like 3 antibiotics, 3 painkillers, 5 repair kits, and 5 first aid kits. Here we go. Scheiße. Are you inside the ki Are you inside the base? Yep. Okay. I'm on Should I get there or should I stay in the fortify wall? Um, you can, you can make it, I'm sure. Oh, there you go. I just heard something explode for some reason. How the hell did you get inside? Oh, don't tell me it was me. Okay. I think I forgot to close the door. Yeah, I did. Extended max. Where the hell are they coming from? They're coming from this side. Oh, I don't know about you. Are you on the wall? Dropped a loot bag. That can't be it, can it? I don't, I don't know where the hell they are, but they're out there somewhere. Oh, they're coming from this side. I'm just running around the wall looking down to see anything. Oh, yeah. hell no, you back the fuck up. Don't you fucking dare. dare jump at me. Oh, God, this scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> you stay here, Oh, well, they're in the ditch. I 
should be able to hit. Sometimes I, I know I'm smart. Where the fuck did you go, asshole? I'm watching the east side. I mean, like, three or four, but there's still, it's four per person. That's fine, at least I can't see the zombies that are in the ditch. I can hear them, but I can't, I don't, know, I don't want to fall over. No, you don't. Know. That's the last place you want to The motion sensor will pick you up in a door. If you even make it out of that alive. After next time we get on, clear the ditch more. So we can see clearly. Yeah, I need to re level the outside of that. We can, yeah, we can. Fill up the ditch as, as long as they don't give them leverage to jump over the wall, that's all I care about. I try to level it out so it's all the same height as uh, what the road is. Yeah, that'd be awesome. One of the crawlers. Yeah, it's one of the crawling jumpies, the one that jumps really high. Yeah, yeah, we need to level up the ground. Everybody else is falling to the ditch, which I don't really care. The only problem with that is they're gonna tear through the wall and dig a hole through the dirt, and, uh, and it's gonna cause a cave in collapse. Spawned on the inside fence. How the There's a hole in the wall somewhere. The, how, how the fuck are you getting up? Might be. Because oh. they're getting yeah, coming up. Hey, where are you? I hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just killed him. Oh, okay, because I'm not. I think I just saw how this one came out. Okay, that's a big fluff. It's letting them in. I know that it's supposed to. What the fuck? Okay, they're not coming from the inside. I just ran from back there, there's no way you're... No, they're, 
it was coming from where I was building the garage. Yeah, I saw that. I just came back there. There's no holes in the wall. What the fuck? That's the only downside about this game. You. Seriously, what? Because we the person sitting in every fucking edge of the perimeter. I mean, I like my wall, but yeah, there's fucking flaws to this wall. They're definitely. I'm spawning on the inside of the wall. I just ran the whole area and there's a, there is no breach anywhere. In the okay, that's a good thing. But the plus side is there's a lot of them that are still stuck on the outside too. Well, that's a good thing. That's what we want them to be stuck at the outside. You. Come here. Come here. You want to die? You want to die? Okay. If a couple up here and there do do spawn on the inside, I guess that's actually kind of fine because a couple versus an entire horde, I would rather take a couple. Okay, yeah, you got a point, but I don't know, with me it's like, why the fuck are you saying on the wall? Oh, stupid. I was so stupid. It would be nice if none of them spawned inside the wall, but... Be I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do anything about that. Mostly pros, in my opinion. Okay, man, like, we're killing just as many zombies as we usually do, but we're not using as much electricity as we usually do do it, which means that we're getting more experience out of it. Yeah, I, I, I see that they just, like, spawn by the down line entrance. Bullets aren't cheap, but having to fix concrete over and over again is even more expensive. That's why I'm trying not to use like, expensive or hard to get items. Because I like wood. Wood, you can clean it. Yeah, I can grow trees wherever I want. Oh god, we have spin. Oh, oh no, it's a fucking bird. Wait, that bird spit shit? I think it did because it spit. Yeah, I think I saw that too. Oh that's that's new. Oh, Never seen that before. Seventh Day Horde always reminds me of uh, the opening cutscene Call of Duty Zombies on the, uh, the Pentagon map. Richard Nixon freaks out. And it sounds like someone's breaking in. And JFK is like, calm down, dick. It's just the storm. Is that your alarm that's going nuts?
Two zombies are chasing me. This is kind of a really awkward game with that mouse. You got it. Uh, there's still one that's not accounted for again. We've got two over here, that's seven. Fewer spikes I have to build the better too. So I really like about the wall. That's all. Okay. 
think I burned about 600 9 millimeter round. I think three. About three for me. No idea how you use that much ammo. I mean, I went through like the diesel, the sniper, mostly the nice MC. Oh, you were just cycling through different guns. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just I was just using nothing but the SMG. Yeah, I mean sniper for long range pickoffs and SMG for close range. It's always a, a successful day when I don't have to whip out the Christy and Big Gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a nice gun, though. Sometimes it's nice, too. I just let them just leave the doors open to the zombies and let, let them take it in. That way I can save bullets. I feel like I'm intruding every time I set off the alarm. <laughs> like shit, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. They're coming, they're coming. And then get detected at this rate, damn it. We have a lot of food, right? Oh good, because I'm hungry as hell. So, what is this script?
And if you're looking for the water, uh, you'll see some uh, some gray painted cupboards, cupboard, whatever you call it, uh, right beside the fireplace in the kitchen. And I'm just filling those full of water since they were taking up too much space in the liquids box. I wish I could build like a semi truck or something and drive around with a trailer attached and loot everything. They should come up. They should come up with that in the, in the future update. It'd be nice. I wouldn't have to make like thirty fucking trips to loot something out. Either that or the army truck. That'd be just as good because I should also have a really big storage in the back of it. Semi truck, an army truck, and a school bus. We have a convoy. Like Resident Evil. Yeah, we put a flamethrower on top of the school bus. Take that, you fucking bird. Never get us again. Would be like being charred. perimeter wall like the top fencing done uh, I can do that another day I think when I ended here, man. Okay, okay. Enjoy having you. Appreciate the help. Oh, anytime. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you log into my server. I don't know if it'll take.
take you to where I last spawned. Or... Um, it's gonna take me to where I spawned and in the game map, which is like, I don't know, somewhere in the, in the forest. I'm, I'm pretty resourceful. I can get by. Okay. I'm just gonna basically just walk there and do what I need to do along the way. Okay. Once I get to the hotel, I'm gonna flush it out and then start building. I got some ideas for that thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave you this assault rifle. I mean, there's like a ton of 7.62. Here, I'm gonna take that out. You already have an assault rifle. I, to I told you I caved just to get by. Because I'm oh. scared. I mean, it's off now. It's all survival now, but. So if you get by, uh, I don't know if you can see where my location is on the map, but if you come to the shotgun size place in the desert. Um, are you in the game right now? Yeah, I'm in the game right now. Uh, what are your coordinates? Uh, let me see. Where is my... Okay. So... So, it's 349E... 1... Yeah, 349E... 1136 South. Eleven thirty six. S. That's a big ass building. Mm -hmm. And the one. So yeah, I mean inside the building, the main entrance of the store, there's a huge hidden stash box. I left you an assault rifle and a whole bunch of uh, seven sixty two ammo. I'm walking to get spawn way the hell there. Oh, yeah. That is. If I die, they'll just give me another chance to respawn and be there. Yeah. So, like I said, I mean, this could be like an outpost for us when we're traveling throughout the desert. And then we'll make. I'll, I'll stay with your base as my home base. Alright. So, yeah. Enjoy, let me get back inside. 